Hi! In this video I'll show you how to make skins for traffic trucks and trailers in American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2. I plan to do a series of these tutorial videos about Mod Studio 2 and mod making in general, so hit that like button if you like them and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any of them in the future. Now, to skin the AI trucks and trailers you're gonna need Mod Studio 2 and some image editing software like Photoshop, Paint.net or simply Windows Paint. Start Mod Studio 2 and start a new mod project. Click on the game you want. The process is exactly the same for both ATS and ETS2. We'll start by skinning a traffic truck. Add a template called Traffic Truck Skin. Start by selecting the truck model you want to skin. On the Basic tab, enter the skin internal name. If this field is red, you have entered a value that's not supported. Hover over the exclamation mark to see what's wrong. If you need more information about a specific input field in Mod Studio, click on the small question mark button next to it. This will take you to the reference section on our website. The spawn ratio field tells the game how often it should spawn this specific AI truck. Higher the number, more often this truck will get spawned. Images tab is where your actual skin goes. For most mods, we provide templates with Mod Studio. In the main toolbar, there's the Template Directory button, which you can click to see if there is any templates available. Since we selected the Cascadia as our AI truck, we'll find the template for it. I'll create an empty folder now, in which I'll keep all my files for this mod. I'll start by copying the Cascadia template into it. I make sure I copy the file, so I have the original left intact for future mods. Right, I'll edit this new file in my image editing software. I use Photoshop in this video, but you can use any image editing application. And yes, I suck at all of them equally. I always start by adding a new transparent layer that will hold all my graphics. I always leave the original template layer untouched. Also, I keep it in a separate layer so I can easily hide it when I'm done with the skin. I'll uh, fast forward the parts where I struggle with the art. Often I will put my template layer on top and reduce its opacity. This way I can always see where my graphics will be positioned on the truck. One of the last steps I do is create one more layer, the base layer. I put it below all the other layers and I completely fill it with a solid color. Usually this is the primary color of my truck. In this case, it's gonna be just plain white. Now, let's hide the template layer and we're done. This is my new traffic skin. 
Save it as a PNG file so we can import it into Mod Studio. Okay, let's pause a bit and talk about skin size here. I've just created a skin that's 4096 times 4096 pixels. That's huge. Optimizing your mod should be very high on your priority list. So, as you can see, I made a skin with a very, very simple graphics. Also, it's gonna be a traffic skin, so you will rarely see it up close. In this case, I think it's wise to reduce the size of it. I'll just begin by opening my new PNG file that we just saved and exported. Let's reduce this file. Uh, let's reduce the width and height of it by half to down to 2048 pixels. By halving the width and height of this image, we will effectively reduce the files, the image size four times. That will have significant impact on the game performance. I could have reduced the size even further to say 1024 times 1024 pixels, but reducing the image size always comes with a trade-off in how crisp the skin looks in game. So we'll just go with 2048 for this one. Okay, now that we have the image, let's add it. You can simply drag and drop it into Mod Studio. You can add up to 10 images to a single traffic track. They will be randomly selected when spawning in game traffic. Um, this is useful, uh, for example, when you're making company skins. Let's say you make a company skin and you want to have variants with different fleet numbers. And that's just one of the examples. All right. On the trailer tab, we'll leave the truck underline semi value, as that means the game will spawn with just one of the regular traffic trailers that SCS made. If you don't have the pro version of Mod Studio, you won't be able to change this value. Pro version is available to our patrons. Please consider supporting Mod Studio project by becoming our patron. In the mod manifest, I'll give my mod a name and I'll set the category to 8 AI traffic. That's about it. You can completely skip the mod manifest if you don't feel like editing these values, and the mod will work and export just fine. I'll export the mod directly into my American Truck Simulator mod folder. I'll jump into the game and let's see if it works. I'll disable all other test mods that I've done previously and I'll enable our new Cascadia traffic mod. Right away we can spot our uh, new traffic Cascadias. All right, I guess we can now move on. In the second chapter of this tutorial, we'll now paint a traffic trailer. Let's begin by creating a new ATS project and let's add a traffic trailer skin to it. The process is simple and it's almost the same as with traffic trucks. Again, uh, you can click on the template directory button to find the skin image template. Let's go with the basic box trailer, and I'll do the same thing as previously. I'll make a copy of the template file. I'll add some simple graphics using Photoshop. So basic traffic trailer templates are one-sided. This mod template uses the default SCS traffic trailer 3D models, so we have to use the skin templates as SCS made them. 
This is my simple scan. And I'll downsize it just like I did with the truck. Alright, back in Mod Studio. I'll come up with a internal name for my trailer. And remember, internal names must be unique. It's how game differentiates between different objects. This checkbox that says only spawn with matched traffic trucks is a pro feature. This will prevent trailers from spawning with random traffic trucks. The last thing to do is dragging our image in and export our mod. Again, I'll export this straight into my uh, ATS mod folder. And here it is. Our trailer skins appear in the game right away. You can see how they're pulled by random traffic trucks. And you'll also notice the Cascadia traffic trucks that we created earlier. And now for the best part of the video. Uh, we're gonna combine the traffic truck and trailer into a single unit. I have to say right now that this is a pro feature in Mod Studio, and it's meant as a little thank you to our patrons. Okay, I'll simply use the project we already made with the trailer. Um, since the trailer is already done, I'll just add a traffic truck to the same project. I'll enter all the basic values like we did before. I'll drag the image in, and we are going to the trailer tab. Here we can use the find trailers button. This will search for all available tra traffic trailers in this project. Of course, you can have many traffic trailers and many traffic trucks in a single project. For the trailer to show up in the select trailer dialog, it must be complete. It must have a trailer model selected and it must have a valid internal name. Now, if you don't want this truck to show up in traffic pulling default SCS traffic trailers, delete this truck semi line and just leave your trailers listed. In the mod template list, switch back to the trailer and let's go to the basic tab. If you want your uh, trailer to exclusively spawn with your traffic trucks, click the only spawn with match traffic trucks checkbox. And that's it, it's very simple. Let's now uh, jump into the game and let's see how it works. I'll disable our previous mods and just enable the match truck and trailer combo. And there we go, uh, you can see them in the traffic right away. Even though my uh, art skills are uh, very poor and my uh, example skin is very basic, it does have a huge presence in the game. Yeah, that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, hit that like button if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you want more videos like this, and consider becoming a patron if you can. Thanks, and see you soon. We'll start by skinging... Power of two... Power... Oh no.